Hello everyone, today I'll be covering question 4A from May June 17, paper 42, CIEA level chemistry. This question wasn't relatively difficult, but majority of the candidates sh couldn't show they're working for part 4A2. So let's get to it. The part 4A2 of the question is linked to part 4A1, so which is why we'll be covering the entire 4A question. If you haven't attempted this question already, I suggest you pause the video and have an attempt yourself. If you'd like to check your answer, feel free to skip to the end of the video. And um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's move on with the working. So the question provides you with the information that it's an isomer, like isomers of this compound, and they exist in the general formula of this, okay? and n so you just have to like keep in mind the positions of the n there's one n here and here and n here now that makes it difficult for me to see so i'll just erase that and each isomer contains like in a, it's an octahedral complex and the waters that are not directly bonded to the cr atom are held in a crystal lattice as water crystallization as in these h2o molecules they are held in a crystal of lattice they're uh, like crystal lattice they're not directly bonded to the CR. And the CR-CL bond is not easily broken, so the chloride bond, like with the CR3 ion in the complex, does not react. So that means everything that's here, like this CL, it does not react. So all of the CL that uh, takes part in reactions, like in the further reactions, are the CL that's outside of the brackets, like outside of the complex. That's some very crucial information. And it's one gram samples of three isomers a b and c that were dissolved in separate samples of water okay so that has no effect so that's the mass and an excess of agno3 were added to the like the separations and agcl was formed like the mass of agcl formed and this is the ionic equation for the white precipitate of agcl and the moles of agcl formed was calculated okay and the table shows the results so from one grams, the moles of ADCL. So the first part is quite simple. It just asks you to calculate the MR of Cr, H2O6, Cl3. For this, you really just use the periodic table, the one that's provided to you, the data booklet, uh, and you calculate the MR. It's a direct question, so it's like a free one mark. And the answer is 266.5 when you add everything up. Now is the next question that was really confusing for most candidates. Well, the table wasn't that confusing. I suppose most of you could get it, but it's the working that was confusing. So use the table, use the data in the table above to calculate the value of n for each of the isomers a, b, and c. So complete the table below with the values of n and the molecular formula for each of the isomer in the style of general formula given above, and show you're working for at least one calculation of n. Uh, so I'll write down the general formula on the right here uh, so that it helps me out in the workings. So that is the general formula. Now before the working, uh, it's easier to fill the table. Uh, so it's better to first fill the table and then go on to the working. Uh, so in the table, when you go up from the t from these values, you can see that uh, the greatest moles of AgCl formed was when C, where AgCl uh, like was 1.13 to 10 to the power minus 2. So this is the greatest, in, or, and this is the second greatest, and this is the third greatest, okay? So... Uh, because in the question it's mentioned above that the CL in the complex does not react. So all the CL that reacts and forms the AgCl complex is the CL that's here. So using that information, C must have where this has to be the great, like this CL has to be the greatest. For this CL to be the greatest, 3, C must have 0 and So 3 minus 0 is 0. So N must be 0 for 3. And for B it must be 1. And for A it must be 2. It goes like this and some of you may be confused and questioning why a is not uh, 3 where like because it's the lowest so uh, the lower number of moles would be formed and the answer is that if 
three if if n was zero for a then it would be three minus three which would be zero and um none of the cl on the outside would be left to react that only the cl that on the outside that reacts with the ag plus ions so uh in that case zero moles of agcl would be formed so that is why it is zero one and two right and then you just write uh the formula in accordance cr h2o so six minus two is four cl and that's two so cl dot two h2o and you add that for here h2o so for six minus one that's five cl cr and cl2 dot and h2o so that would be and the last one is pretty simple h2o uh, so that be six minus zero that's six and cln so that be zero and cl3 and nh2o so zero and now the way to work this out is also pretty simple so you first just calculate the moles in the complex okay so moles of complex is one divided by the mr uh, which is m by mr so the mass given above is one so one divided by 266.5 is equal to uh 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles okay so these are the moles of the complex now to weigh the way to find the n value of cl like of cl would be dividing the moles of agcl formed by this value so when you divide the moles of let's say the first one so the first one is 3.75 so when you divide 3.75 by 3.75 uh, by itself so n would be uh, it would be one right so when you divide it by uh, when you divide it by itself n would be one uh, like by n i mean like the ratio the ratio would be one okay wait to avoid confusion i'll just write that so the ratio would be 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1 okay and what this basically means is that there's one cl atom that's uh, on the outside see one cl atom that's on the outside if the moles is 3.75 similarly if the moles was 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it would be it's basically double of this right so it will be two so that means two cl on the outside that reacts with the ag uh, agno3 solution so over here there would be two cl and similarly the for c you do the same thing and you'd get three cl so what that what what this working indicates is that it like it's a multiple it goes up uh, by a, by a scale factor a similar scale factor i hope that makes sense if you have any doubts please do leave them in the comment section below